Hello everyone. So Diwali is coming soon. I thought of sharing few recipes which you can easily make at home and enjoy your Diwali with homemade sweets and snacks. So let's see what we make today. First, we are going to make some yummy, yummy, sweet, sweet sundaes. For the sundaes, first I'll be boiling one liter of milk and I'll make chana out of it. Next, in a bowl, I am adding two tablespoon of vinegar, and in it, I'll be adding four tablespoon of water. Adding water to the vinegar will maintain the creaminess of the milk. Now I'll simply add everything to the milk and we will stir it constantly and you can see already the milk has started separating. Now we have the chana separated from the milk. So it's almost ready to strain. Now here I have taken a muslin cloth and in it I'll be straining all the chana out. And you have to squeeze out all the water from the chana. Otherwise your sundaes will become very soggy. This way we have to keep the chana in the cloth for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Then the water will completely come out. Now after 15 minutes I have taken out the chana and I'll just add 6 to 7 tablespoon of custard sugar and 2 to 3 tablespoon of corn flour and then I'll just mix everything together and with my hand I will rub everything together so that everything comes together and becomes like a dough this way with my hand I will rub everything together you can see I'm rubbing everything together so after rubbing it for at least 10 minutes, this kind of a dough will be ready. Now we are going to add the chana dough to a clean dry pan and you have to fry it in low flame continuously stirring it. Because if you will leave it, leave it without stirring, it might stick to the bottom of the pan and this will spoil your Shandesh. So you have to fry it until the sugar is completely dissolved and everything comes together. See this way you can make a ball and see if your dough is ready. So this way if a ball is ready if you can make a ball out of the dough then your Shandesh mixture is ready. So I'll simply take it out. Now again after taking it out from the pan I'll just knead the dough once again and then I'll be adding 3 to 4 cardamom which I have already crushed and again give it a nice mix and it's ready to be given a shape of a sundae or I'll simply give it a shape of a laddu. So this way if it's hot you have to be little careful but if you can do the kneading of the dough while it's hot so now I'll simply make a ball or give it a shape of a laddu this way I'll just make the all the shondesh ready can see one is ready and I have decorated the shondesh with some kesar. Next we are going to make some fig and dry fruits sugar free laddu. For this I will be frying we will be frying some kaju like one cup of kaju and one cup of almond in two to three tablespoon of ghee and when they turn brownish in color we will simply make a powder out of next in that same pan i'll be frying one cup of fig dried fig and one cup of dried khajur which is dates and i have soaked them overnight 
next blend them into a paste. Next, dry roast 3 to 4 tablespoon of poppy seeds. Then in a clean plate, I have taken out the kaju and the almond powder and then I have added the figs and the date paste and I'll simply mix everything together. Then I'll simply roll it out after mixing everything together. Then in a plate, I'll spread the dry roasted poppy seed and I'll just roll it all over it. To simply cut your dry fruits and fig burfi out. So I have kept one sweet with sugar and one sugar free so that everyone can enjoy their Diwali nicely. After making two sweets now let's make something salty. So we are going to make masala namkeen haju. So I have added 1 tablespoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of baking soda, 1 tablespoon of ajwain and 3 tablespoon of refined oil or vegetable oil and then I have added water and now we are going to make a firm dough. So our dough is ready. Now I am going to simply roll it out into a big roti. So I'll make a ball and then I'll start rolling it out. So our roti is done. Now with the help of a spoon, I'll simply cut this kind of half shape moon. And this way our masala kaju will be ready. You can use a spoon or if you have a round cutter, you can even use it. So this kind of a spoon I'm using to cut out the half shape moon. Now let's fry them in some vegetable oil or ghee and the flame of the stove should be low while frying the masala kaju. And at last we are going to make the masala for the masala kaju. I have added 1 tablespoon of chaat masala, 1 tablespoon of zira powder, 1 tablespoon of coriander powder and 1 tablespoon of red chili powder. Now I will simply add everything to the masala kaju and mix it well. So here is our yummy masala kaju ready. If you like the recipe, please do like and subscribe the channel and please write in the comments about your preparation for this Diwali. Bye bye for today.